I have a very unusual job. Today, I'm going on a blind date. I chat with married men online, and I'm not sure how my date's gonna take it. Do the wives know? I don't think so. You don't think so? That's, no, um... they don't know. <laughs> my name is Lana, and I'm an intimacy coach, which means I chat with married men online. Dating in LA for me is so much fun. It's kind of like Disneyland for me. My daughter just turned 18. Hi. Hi! Wishing you luck. I just Hi. hope he's cute and I hope he's young. <laughs> Ciao, baby. Bye. For her to give me advice, it would be settle down. The men that I usually go for tend to be much younger than me, like in their 20s. I hope he's uh, fun and open-minded and cute. My name is James and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm 26 and I am a writer. My type of female is someone who is ambitious, you know, passionate about just life in general and uh, definitely a creative person. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Lana. Hi. James. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How's your night going? It's good. How's your night going? It's just getting started. It's getting started. So wait, so what do you do? I am a writer. That's like where I'm yeah. striving towards. Yeah, what kind of writer? A screenwriter. Okay. Uh, so yeah, like movies, TV shows. That's awesome. Um, mainly more animation. Okay. Yeah. We'll see where it goes. What about you? What do you do? Um, I, I'm an intimacy coach for men. Yeah, and okay. I uh, <laughs> I do uh, intimacy coaching for married men online on Skype, actually. Interesting. What, what exactly do you mean by intimacy coach? So I came to LA to be an actor, and I started to be an intimacy coach about two years ago. Married men come to me that are unhappy in their marriage, and they want to learn how to be more, you know, how to be better as a husband. A lot of them are married and mm. they don't have sex and they are struggling with intimacy with their partners. Interesting. So that's where I come in and I kind of coach them and we maybe we can do a role play or, you know, sometimes it gets like spicy, I guess. Oh, nice. Fancy. <laughs> very, very fancy. I appreciate it. Uh, Here's it to a good night and, you know, hopefully we see each other in the future. Okay, cheers. What made you want to uh, get into that? Like, I um, grew up in a very strict family. Mm. I got married really young. So I always had this appetite that, you know, was never kind of fulfilled. Interesting. So yeah. it was always my, you know, my fantasy was always to be a stripper. <laughs> but then did, never... did you fulfill it? No. No. No, why not? No, because I got married and, and then I had mm. a daughter. And then, you know, I was pursuing other things. I understand. But yeah. that desire to sexually express was still there. I definitely understand where you're coming from. So you mentioned you were married before. What happened? I was. What happened? What happened? I mean, yeah, I'm assuming you're divorced. I got married really young. And I wanted to honestly explore more people. Definitely. If I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. What about you? What is your um, relationship like? I know you're, how old yeah, are you? I'm 26. 26. Right, so um, I've been really in a young. couple relationships. They just, I guess we grew apart, like you said. Really? The time. Yeah, I am in big on like personal development. So like my Same. main focus in life right now. I would say the, the reason why most of my relationship ended is that the people that I would be with are not, um, they don't grow as much as I do. So I'm all about self-development and growth. I kind of get bored or we just go separate ways. How much do you charge? I charge $20 a minute with minimum of 30 nice. minutes. So you must it's, be dealing with like some pretty rich people. Yes. Cause that's... So it's six hundred dollars thirty minutes. Wow. Um, cool. That's good for you. You know, you make you. you know a lot of money. I'm sure. Um, but if you just chase money or status or whatever, 
it's not gonna fulfill you. Yeah. Because what are we really chasing? Happiness? Yeah. So I realized, like, mm, yeah, I just, I, I want to have more fun and joy. No, I love That's that. important to me. Hold that thought. <laughs> I'm gonna go use the restroom. No problem, of course. How do you think the date is going so far? I like it. He's sweet. You know, he's kind. So he's cute. My attraction level, I would say right now a five. I have to get to know more to see where the attraction is. I guess I just want to make sure that he can handle somebody like me. Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> so tell me, I have a question for you. Um, of course. How do you feel about what I do? But you have to be honest. What kind of clientele do you normally uh, take on? So most of my clientele are married men that have yeah. issues with intimacy with their partners. Some single. Yeah. Do the women, lot. do the wives know? I don't think so. You don't think so? That's, no. Um, they don't know. I, I don't mean, I don't have any objections to it. As I just feel like it's like not the best for, for men to be spending their money on, <laughs> you know, especially if they're married. It's like, yeah. why, why would you do that? But. You know, I mean, make your money. At the end of the day, if that's how you choose to make your money, I just um, probably wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't deal with it. Like I, I, I understand. Yeah. And a lot of people wouldn't. That's yeah. you know, and I totally understand. It's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's why you know I've been single for a few years, and because I I understand how uh, it could affect a, a guy and a relationship. Yeah, I also feel like that guy. Um, has to have a certain confidence level within himself sure. and be sure of himself. For to sure. be like, oh, she does this and that's that's okay. So you think there's like liberation in all that? Yeah, that I leads? really do. I love being who I am. I believe in what I do. No, as you as you should. As you should. Um What did you expect? I didn't expect you well one to be older. Okay. Um, the mom thing kind of, <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, uh, I do have a thing for moms. You do? <laughs> um, nice. But um, you are, you definitely uh, have a lot of insight and bring a lot to the table. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, yeah. what was your, what's your body count? Oh, I don't, you don't that's not it? something that I, yeah. I feel like that's something like, a teen, like such a 20 year old to say. <laughs> well, you don't keep track or like you don't care? You know what? I do care, but I'm a very sexual person and I don't, I, I don't count. I think after 20, I kind of lost count. So. <laughs> no, that's, that, I'm not gonna lie, that threw me off. I wasn't expecting. <clears throat> you asked. Yeah, if no. you're asking, be ready for the answer. <laughs> I should have gotten ready. Well, I have to get up early tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to go. That's fine. But it was so nice meeting you. Of course, it was nice meeting <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, give me a hug. She's very attractive, has a nice smile, um, very articulate as well. You know, I, I really don't think I would go on another blind date just because I'd like to know what I'm walking into beforehand. I didn't feel the sparks. You know, very sweet guy, cute, but I need a little more like spicy. Has this dating experience taught me anything? He has taught me that people need to be more open-minded. You can't be liked by everybody. There's gonna be people that are gonna support you and like what you do, and there's people that are not gonna understand it, that's okay. <laughs>